All right, today is actually May 2nd, and decided to take an eye break walk when I happened to notice moral mushrooms up, at least one. I'm only about 20 feet into the woods. Can you see it over there? So again, generally what I do is I crouch down and then I scan the landscape around me and you will notice right there is another one. So that's two moral mushrooms right here. Now, I would actually expect there to be some more if I just look hard enough. With the temperature, the green vegetation is now higher. So, I don't know if I can't, I can't get both of those in there. If I turn it this way, I can. Two moral mushrooms. I'm going to leave those right there for a bit. I know where they're at. And continue looking for others. Because generally, anytime you have one, you have two. And if you have two, you have three. I'll uh, turn this camera off unless I find some more. I did just find another one just about, well, the first morals I found are just on the other side of my cat up there. So maybe 25, 30 feet away. There's another one right there. If you notice, I'm kind of like right here next to a tree line. There's a utility cutout area. So I'm kind of crouched down scanning to see if I can see another one. Because like I said, if you find one, you find two. If you find two, you find three. And I guess one of the other tips that I forgot to mention previously is usually when I'm looking for morals, like right now I'm going down a hillside and I will occasionally turn around and look from where I just came from. Because you would be surprised how much perspective changes from just something that simple. We got a pretty good rain the day before yesterday into yesterday morning. That's raised the humidity level in the woods. The ground temperature is right. The humidity level is right. Now you have morals. <laughs> With an appropriate bag to collect them in. And I'll just tell you right now. I use either like an old onion bag. Like those net kind of bags. It's kind of like a net. There's the first two I found over there. But when I first moved here. This is one of the first places I inoculated was right here in this kind of like open area. And the weird thing was, I don't know if it was the kind of trees that grow here or what, but I inoculated it 
and the very next year there were so many moral mushrooms out here and the weird thing about that is that's the only time I've ever gotten moral mushrooms in this in this particular spot now another thing that I do too is I always add moral mushrooms slurry to each one of my raised fruit tree beds and I know that pawpaws have a symbiotic relationship with the earth but I've never grown a moral mushroom in these pawpaw beds and I know that moral mushrooms tend to like apple trees and other hardwoods and I've added slurry to every one of my tree areas, fruit trees, and I've not gotten morals from them either. So it's just kind of weird how it can be hit or miss. Like sometimes you'll find them, sometimes you won't. Right there is a cedar rust spore. That is not a pawpaw, although it looks like a pawpaw from a distance. So I always walk really slow through this area for the simple fact that I always usually find pawpaws here. And it could be that I need to give it another day or two. If you notice, I'm not really moving like vegetation out of the way or anything like that. I'll be honest with you. There's one right there. <sighs> Again. crouch down, I scan the ground, just kind of look around, I don't see any obvious areas, but again, they're kind of hard to find, especially when they get over in like this area where the ground can very easily mask them. If you haven't watched the video I put up though about whether or not moral mushroom slurry works, make sure you watch it because I didn't used to find moral mushrooms on this property until I started doing the slurry method. And so just the fact I found numerous morals today proves that it does work. I mean I've been out here uh, what 20 minutes the video says 16 minutes and I was probably out here five minutes before that another tip that I'll give you is it's usually better to hunt moral mushrooms in the late afternoon or evenings just because of the angle of the sun will be more to the west kind of lower in the sky where right now the sun is coming up over top of you and it kind of makes the shadows weird however many it is i mean it wasn't a huge amount there's another one over here that might be the one that I found a few days ago. It is still growing though. That's another thing too. If you find moral mushrooms and they're on your own property, you ain't got to pick them when they're tiny. 
gonna let them grow. They'll just keep right on growing till they dry out. I think that was probably the first one that I found. I'm kind of in that general area. This one right there. There's one over here. See, this is what I mean by when there's one, there's two. So they're not up in like what I would consider to be huge numbers. I mean, huge numbers would be if you come out here and you're going to find, you know, 30 or 40. That makes it pretty nice. But one thing I don't want to do is I don't want to over harvest moral mushrooms because that just makes it worse for me down the road. And I've not really, I've only covered a very small area of this woods. It ain't like I've really gotten out here and looked. I mean, there's always the potential that I'll find. A hundred over a pretty large area. But I ain't got that kind of time right now. So what I'll do is I'll look here for maybe another five or ten minutes and then I'll just call it because I'm gonna have to shorten this video drastically <laughs> anyways so hope you found this interesting I'll try to shorten this video down we are at 20 minutes now so I'll try to get this cut down and uh, thanks for watching God bless you God bless your families God bless your homesteads Out hunting for mushrooms and run across this little buddy. Can you see him? His head sticking up over the stem there. Just about in the center of the screen. Little snake. I'll leave him alone. I'm actually out hunting moral mushrooms and not hunting snakes so but he's harmless and uh he won't care if i walk by him see him there